Hello YouTube, it's Tim in Game here, bringing you a deck breakdown of what we topped with in Cardiff, and that was Aquaforce and two other decks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say about that, I'm just going to say something. No, not really, because you were the one that won the most games. Me and Yuri didn't do quite do well, but we won when it matters. Okay, so, so with this deck, <laughs> I lost one game, which was against uh, Oracles, but I beat them later on, so... Dif they're different quality of games, I guess, but it depends how it goes. Okay, but okay, I think our games go each way, but never mind. Right, so without further ado, this is the way deck works. Um, so I've got as my first ride, actually I can even do it like this, look, um, the Tidal Boar Dragon, so the, the one that attacks third, um, and it's just on hit to draw and call up to one. So you need three attacks to get that one off. Um, second alternative as the first ride is what came out in the Fighters Collection, which is the Admiral Maelstrom. Uh, which is your on four attack, four, uh, if it's the fourth attack, you can bust one and flip one face up, and you retire and draw um, if, if it hits. So you just get that extra, for a counter blast, you get the retirement off as well as the draw, uh, which is always nice. Um, but I found the, myself never usually using it, but the option was there. And of course, your main bad boy, the Lambroke. Lambros, which is the, oh look, I attack fourth, and then restand two units for 10k i.e. the two little ones at the front row that are 11k, so it's a 21 extra 2 niggles. I wouldn't really describe those niggles, but that's what that course generally is. Man broke, we broke. Man broke, we broke. Um, for the consistent play of the deck, it's a focus. So, four Maelstroms as your first grade 3, and four Glory as the next. The reason that there is no reverse is because of the focus of the deck. Not to skip through the deck as much, but I have to reference they're in there. The crit. So either the cross ride gets off, or you use a draw trigger to go into soul and add 3k to it. With the crit behind it and glory out, is just game. They cannot guard it because it's breaking that 21 barrier with the counter blast on that fourth attack that the crit's boosting. And it's just you can't guard because the two intercepts aren't enough. So by that logic, it's enough, because I am not using their effects. If you are using the normal Maelstrom's effects, then it's generally not being as aggressive as you could be with the Stride. The Stride's always going to be better. That's what the deck's focused on doing. So you just need a Maelstrom Vanguard, it doesn't matter what it is, so you may as well have a, a focus that is the cross ride. So that's why there is four and four there. So that's what your tentator, that's what your Vanguard's gonna be. Now to focus on the switchy switchy, You've got the, the Broken Sweeper, which is your 11k beat stick with a Maelstrom. Um, which is why you're on... <coughs> which is, is why you're on wall. Yeah. It's just, it just when it attacks, it, it's got Maelstrom in its name, it's 2k. But if it's the first battle, it switches. Um, yeah, it's the first battle, so you go, Whoa, and then it switches. So that's what you'll have sitting there. Um, you've also got your Magnum Assault which is the, oh look, I boost when I attack a vanguard. Counter Blast, even though it doesn't say on it. Um, <laughs> Restand it, and it gets 2k. So that's what you'd like to have over there. But, I mean, what we found out is that you... Even if it, you it's a weird ruling on it that even, you... The weird ruling is, even if you attack unboosted to the vanguard, you still have attempted to use the effects, so you can't Counter Blast to restand when you attack with a boost. So if you get a stand trigger or stand it due to an effect, and when you attack with a boost, you've already had the opportunity to activate it, attacking the vanguard, thus you can't activate Which it. Which makes sense, but at the same time, it wasn't, I don't think it's worded very well. It's, it's worded terribly, because it only says you may pay the cost when it's boosted. <clears throat> so I tried to outdo that. But, I never found a situation when I was in Cardiff that I could get away with that. So, no, it didn't really matter. But it's just annoying that I had a stupid combo with the starter. But, regardless. Um... The last one is Tidal Assault. So you're thinking, where's the, where's the 12Ks? Where's the, where's the like, beat sticks? You generally just need to get three attacks off, and you're fine. Because even if it's a 9 there, it's 11 to Vanguard, switch, and then 9 to a Rearguard. It generally doesn't matter. But as, you're, as the field, game progresses, you want a Grade 3 or a Grade 2 on the... I might as well talk about the deck beforehand. <laughs> rather, than, uh, rather than going into the end, I'll do a breakdown and talk about it. Um, so... Late mid late game, you want those two on your field and a grade three, be it here or just here. It doesn't matter, but that's what you're looking for as a field. Um, 
early game, you want Tidal Assault because it is just broken and so annoying. Just with a boost, it's just, oh look, nine to Vanguard, restand. With a boost, it's nine again. So you get one, two, three, four attacks off on grade two, right? Which is stupid if you don't get a trigger. It's just damage, 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 damage. So yes, so those are those grade twos. So that's 12 grade twos. A nice point out there, 12. Which means um, you don't expect to see a lot of grade ones. <laughs> a few less than you should do. Well, a couple less. So four perfect guard, not any unflipping nonsense, because you don't want anyone targeting your rear guards and getting off effects. Like, like, dope. like dote, which is what Aaron kept doing. <laughs> was that? Was, oh, so what, uh, what start do you use? Oh, oh that, so I'm going to send you a rear guard. So how would you win that game, Aaron? Attack his rear guard. <laughs> of course you did. Um, four of the stride unit, because that is your focus. You need to stride, and those grade threes are too vital for your field. So that's that. Um, there is actually some blair going on. This is one of the only decks I've seen of yours that doesn't tech the one stride break. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, but that's because I want to ride Maelstrom. Um, and because it's a very beat sticky build, four of the 10k swings for Maelstrom, because you need to rush, and one of the 10k swing if you have two arrested, two or less rested. That was originally a, a penguin, <laughs> so I was doing draw because you might as well, but I realised you just you don't want it on the field, you always want a 7k. So forget that. Anyway, so that's your your build there. Um, you're generally just looking to have, and also as a as a deck, <coughs> how it functions, those are going to be in your hand, the perfect guards and the stride units. So in terms of what's on the field, it's just going to be one of them as a boost. Literally one. Uh, uh, just literally one, because your starter's here, and the other units will be there. So it'll be just boosting the magnum or just niggling or something. So that's that. Um, in regards to the starter, it's your counterblast into soul. Add 2k to a unit on the restand. So when it attacks a vanguard. So if you're against a retirement deck, you get rid of this straight away. <laughs> you do not let them target. Just generate one though, Mike. <clears throat> generate one, but what I mean on the stride, you put it in. Yeah. So your first stride, you get rid of it. Because you do not want them targeting it or anything. Um, so against any any link joke or anything, I just had a thin front row, starter installed straight away, attack, attack, attack with the vanguard, trigger dump, or draw or whatever, and then eh, attack again, oh, attack, 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 attack with the vanguard for four. Just get rid of it as quickly as I can. It also ensures that on the Lambros turn, you get a magnum assault effect, i.e. you attack with a magnum unboosted to a rear guard. So you, you go attack, attack on the left, be it switch or whatever. <coughs> then you go attack a 9k to the rear guard after attacking once with this side. So that when you stand with Lambros, it's 19. And then you attack with a boost for the 26, where it is. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah, 26. 26. And then you restand, it gets 2k. So it's 21. So you just ensure that. So even if it wasn't that, you can still attack unboosted to a rear guard and do the same thing if you really wanted. So that's how the starter works. Now for the most stupid part of the deck, which I thought at this point I thought that is that is a well built deck. But what I found is that as soon as my cards are retired or I couldn't find a field to drop, I kept losing. So I thought, you know what? Let's just put the four heels in. Yeah, that's fine. You know. The, the draw trick goes into Soul at as three k. You know, as I said, it works with the deck. Just chuck in another four draws. Just 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 run eight draws, and it works. And then just follow the crit because that is a good crit. So I'm sitting there with eight draws. So every time I take damage because I don't care about damage because I'm just dropping my hand, it's draw trick a draw, draw trick a draw, and then you find perfect guard. So you drive check the draws. <clears throat> it's a niggle game. You're looking to just last as long as you can with a niggly field. They can't hold out forever. The only way you lose is if they use effects that you can't perfect guard or you don't have the guard or you can't retain a field because they just destroy it. And that's just how the deck kept winning because it's just draw <coughs> power. So, yes, is there anything else I'd like to go through Aaron? Or is that pretty much everything? That's it. That's pretty much everything, okay. So, just to set up the, the field for you there. So that's pretty much what you're looking for. Bear that, bear that. 
and a bit of that afterwards. It's a bit of Lambrus afterwards. A bit of crit behind there, late game. And your grave one or whatever's there. So, yes, with a bit of reflection going on there and some serious reflection. And so 11k back here, so you just go one and two, three. Four with this to restand them. We get 10k and then uh with a boost and then e so it's basically one, two to rear, three, four, restand, five, six, seven. It's, uh, it's just a ridiculous deck. I it, I just felt so uh, I don't know, I felt as if I was cheating in the sense that it was just stupid. I, no deck should be able to rush that quickly and do that many little attacks with that early game. That I just generally chucked in like a couple of days before after testing it and things and realised how stupid it was. Because um, originally I had the 12k swinger just to guarantee that column here that switches with the uh, sweeper. So yes, that is indeed my Aquaforce Maelstrom Stride deck with Lambroke. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.